Mark chapter 14, verse 56 to 58. For many bore false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. And some stood up and bore false witness against him, saying, We heard he, we heard him say, I will destroy the temple that is made with hands in three days, and I will build another not made with hands. Yet about these, their testimonies did not agree. I personally am going through a situation that there is being false witnesses, false testimony, those that try to make me look as if I am something that I am not. I spend a lot of time talking to others, trying to convince them, all right, of the truth and walk and walk in the truth. I am neither this side or that side. I'm on the Yahweh and the Messiah side. If I'm told spiritually to go do something, you can't tell somebody that there is a God or a Lord or you are spiritually fed to feed them the fruits of wisdom and knowledge so thus thou have an eternal life. They'll call you crazy. So if you have a bunch of people who are still praying to a God that they say that does not exist, that you are personally having a good loving relationship with to share the message into the world, so thus thou can have their portion by works, grace, and belief, then who is the crazy one? Those that walk around and use a religion for barter, trade, and economical purposes, or those that come and ask for nothing but for you to believe so that way that way you can have eternal life with underneath the kingdom of God. These are things that are to come and that are happening as we speak today. Whether if it's in the world of the courthouse where they bear false witnesses and corruption or if it's with police departments or in your neighborhood with amongst your friends or with your family. We have to learn to have trust and faith within the Lord, all right, that he will guide us and give us the strength to go through, all right, because a bearing, those that bear false witnesses, all right, shall be cursed, and, and nothing will come of thee that do those things, because we are all the children of God, and we all come together underneath, underneath one roof, grafted into one tree, even though we, even though we have different functions. We all are underneath one God, one rule, and one house. Because understand, there should be many tongues and many nations because my Father in heaven has many of many of mansions waiting for all of his saints and all of his believers and all of those who strive and held fast to the word. I shall not let anybody stray me aside and bear false witness against me. I rebuke that in the name of the Messiah and the one true, true God, Yahweh. And I stand fast to and hold into what I believe. Do I for do I want to force anybody to believe what I believe? No, that is your choice. But it says in the word, understand, there are, I want to use this as an example. I have a lot of older friends that I look at to I look up to and that were mentors in my life. Godfathers that I call godfathers or or whether prodigy fathers or they call me prodigy sons or whatever. But I've seen them actually, and these are very, very rich men. I've seen them pull something away from their sons that their sons were promised as heirs to take care, care of, to hold multi-million dollar corporations or businesses or whatever they had that was, was going to get passed down to their sons. They took that away from them because the son couldn't handle it. He turned into a drug addict or he messed up his entire life. But there was always that one person that worked really hard at his job that he wasn't related to that was the son that he always wanted. So instead of giving that heir and that and passing down whatever to that to his son, he ended up giving it to the person that that was filling his son's shoes that he wasn't related to. All right, but if the son was to go and get himself together, he always had it in his will that if he met these certain expectations, he would get a percentage. And then later down the road, you know, he'll have a chance to take over that company or take the company back. See, this happens even in reality. So with the reality of us seeing these things, you will even see it in movies. This is how the Father Yahweh is. Transgressions have brought us out of 
what we used to be and made us forget. For us to learn who we are, we have to learn to be one. There is a time right now that all the Gentiles must fulfill, and they must fulfill the coming into the word of Christ and the Lord. Thus thou follow those same actions and rules that we were supposed to. You cannot make somebody do something that they're not because if it's already in their characteristics to be greedy, stingy, selfish, prejudiced, racist, corrupt, and have a heart full of lawlessness, then so be it. Let it be because only those that actually love God are going to have a good understanding. I don't mind anybody hating me, down talking me, or thinking whatever. Because at the end of the day, I know the Lord loves me. The only thing I can do is pray for people like that. All right? And that's the same thing that I need all of my brothers and sisters out there to do. And no matter what color you are, you're always a brother and sister underneath God's eyes. You're always a brother and sister no matter what color and race you are in, in the Messiah's eyes. If you follow the works of the law and you believe, understand that this word right here is a holy one, all right? And no matter what somebody says in order to bear false witness against you, you hold fast and have faith in what you believe in. Right now, we're living in a time where it's not cool to love God. God does not exist, and there will be no miracles for this generation until the coming, which means that we have to hold fast that, you know, everything in our life is by faith and we must do works no matter how hard times get. The lawlessness is so great, it's going to make you want to stray and not believe. It's going to make you want to say, you know what, and I'm not doing this today. And then you want to catch an attitude. Next thing you know, your attitude is a, is a stumbling block and a downfall that keeps avalanching into a greater and greater and a greater midst of problems. This is why you pray, you hold fast, you turn the other cheek, and you find forgiveness within your heart. And those that bear false witness in you, pray for them and give them blessings because you have to understand, if you're one of God's children and you believe and you have faith, your faith is strong enough that God will put everything in his hands and he'll take care of it. And then he'll, he'll make you an established root amongst his olive tree.